Okay, so today's gonna be a very busy day, but uh, I, I won't be doing any work at all. I'm going to be mo making fully zero dollars today. Um, but the work that I'm going to be doing today is going to make me thousands of dollars in the future. You guys will see what I mean. I'll show you guys in a second. But right now we're gonna go, I gotta go pick up um, Angie's mom's camera, her Canon, uh, from Angie's aunt's place, because this I still haven't found the uh, ca uh, extra battery or battery charger for this camera, but I still have an extra battery for the Canon, so I'm going to be putting that into the Canon and using that for footage instead today. Okay, so what's your problem? Why are you getting mad? You don't get copy either. Are you fucking serious? So if I if I can't get a coffee, if you can't get a coffee, I can't get a coffee either, just because you don't like it. What kind of logic is that, guys? Then let's get BCAs. Right? Oh my God! Listen, I don't listen. I'm doing a vlog right now, okay? So both of the batteries don't work. So the, the, there's literally no reason to get the cannon at all. Because the, none of the batteries work, it's dead completely. But so, someone is not organized. I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to. Listen, I thought I was thinking it was at your mom's and the charger's there in the bag, right? Anyways, uh, I'm going to have to use up whatever batteries left on this camera, and then I'm gonna have to maybe buy. Should I just buy a fucking camera charger? can't find it that's the cost of being unorganized sometimes guys but uh, if anything I'll use my uh, my iPhone for some footage it's gonna look like garbage but it is what it is all right guys we're about to get a coffee right now and uh, do you see the video of Casey in bed at the end of Samson you should get the Samson yeah I know anyway can I get a medium coffee how do you like it? How do you like it? Uh, three sweetener, two milk. Three sweetener, two milk. Sorry, medium coffee bag? Three sweetener, two milk. Three sweetener, two milk? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Okay, $125, that's it, please. Okay, thank you. $175, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Heading out to the gym. Okay. Here, look at the mirror. So we just finished. So we just finished going to the gym. I was really uh, like not feeling it today, man. It was one of those days. So we just ended up doing like one set for each exercise, but to failure and with a five to five cadence meaning five seconds up five seconds down to really get that burn and tear in the muscle it was just another way to train without actually putting in so much load on your nervous system because I was just not feeling it really down to the dumps didn't just didn't didn't do cardio today didn't stretch or anything like that just did it at least I you know did something today that's the main thing um, so now we're gonna go to uh, the bank because I got to deposit my we're gonna deposit the check and I'm gonna go home, get a lot of work done. I'll see you guys there. So 
the uh, the camera's dead. We're still on the quest to f figure out where the hell we left the charger at. Um, so the rest of the vlog is. All right. Someone just subbed. <laughs> it's the good old OBS layout I got going on. Um, All right. What the fuck? Shit. Thank you. Pardon for the sub, dude. All right. What the fuck is going on? What? What the hell was that? Um, anyways, holy shit. So we're here now. We just finished working out. We filled up the air. Wish I could show you guys that epic scene. Um, that's about it. On my video. Nice. Um, and that's about it. Now it's pretty much just work. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys what I meant before with the whole work scene here. Anyways, each one of those red blocks of time is an hour and it is different things so i'll read it off to you quick uh so first right now get leads probably for the smma people then i'm supposed to call all my leads and try to get some sales for that which i hate by the way i'm not a natural salesperson at all i always feel uncomfortable making calls to random people and ask them to uh, help them out with the service it's not something i'm natural at but you know you got to do what you got to do yeah it's something it's a cost of doing business. Create poster for personal training. That's another hour. So I'm just basically creating a poster for like a po personal training poster mm -hmm. and put it into the uh, the condos and stuff, the condominiums of whatever gyms they have in the places that I already train clients. So that way I can get more like that. Then make a list of all old technical or te telephone inquiries and email inquiries. So basically anyone who's messaged me in the past five years that I've been doing personal training, either on the phone or email, I'm just gonna get write them down, make a list, and then do follow-up calls every month. So like that, hopefully I can get a couple of sales like that. And these are people that are obviously already interested because they've already inquired in the past for personal training. So they're interested in personal training. Then you have call personal training leads. Um, so calling them basically that's that and then design website for personal training and um, social media marketing that's just to make myself more legitimate more professional shouldn't take more than an hour then after that just editing this vlog today and then uh, a little bit of marketing stuff and then that's it and then just well oh, today's Thursday so it's gonna be some free time at the end for an hour from 10 to 11 then after that, just replying to the YouTube comments and uh, setting up my ads on Kijiji and Craigslist for uh, personal training. Then after that, it's just reading my goals and getting ready, uh, ready, getting ready to go to sleep. So that's basically what my day looks like today. So lots of work, zero dollars, but lots of productive shit that I'm going to be doing today. I'll uh, hopefully keep you guys updated as time goes on. So. We'll go from there. If we can get one out of these 10, that's great. That's my goal for today. So sometimes just put yourself out there make yourself look like an idiot mess up that's all part of the process man that's what you gotta you just gotta you know do it just gotta get it get it done get it over with you know that's part of sales man
I got a call from someone. So let's give him a call back here. Hello? Yes, hi. Hi there. Um, is it, who, uh, sorry, who am I speaking to right now? This is Peter from uh, Evo. From where, sorry? Evo restaurant, you called them. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Um, yeah, I was just calling because I, I, I noticed you guys don't appear to have an Instagram. Is that correct? Or do you guys have an Instagram uh, account already for your business? No, we do. You do? Okay, no yes. problem. No, I was just calling because I'm offering right now one week uh, free trial for social media management. If you guys, if you guys have any social media, like for example Twitter or something like that, that you wanted to, you know, give a try, um, I'm I'm here to offer one week completely free of charge. Manage your posts and stuff like that, so that I can optimize it, you know, for people that are, you know, in your area that might be interested in, you know, um, you know, visiting your restaurant and stuff like that, right? So I can start optimizing um, posts for you in that particular you know social media plat uh, platform I don't know if that's something you're interested in at all uh, not at the present time no, if you want to give me a call back at a later date we can discuss yeah sure uh, what what kind of uh, what time like what date would be a good good time for you well, like in a month's time or so, not, not, I don't mean like tomorrow or the day Yeah, after. yeah, no, no, I know what you mean. Okay, yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, I can definitely, how about like three weeks? Yeah, that's Okay, perfect. So I'll give you a call back in uh, in three weeks and uh, and then we can discuss something from there, okay? Okay. Great. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Right. Usually when they do that, like you're supposed to uh, handle the objection and stuff like that, but uh, call back in. So usually, in sales, you're taught that when people say to call you back, call them back. Well, it could be because they're generally not interested, but it could probably be because they're a polite way of saying, you know, to uh, to f off or whatever. But right now, like, I, I'm not in mindset. I haven't read a sales book in in months, 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 like eight months. I haven't done any sales calls or anything like that so i'm just trying to get myself right now in the in the mindset to you know call people up just keep calling no matter how uncomfortable you feel and uh and just go from there Options. hi there this is james calling from uh client accelerator i noticed you guys don't have any instagram or facebook pages and i wanted to offer you guys one week completely free no obligation required at all um, of being able to manage your social media pages. So what I can do is I can actually create um, an Instagram and Facebook account for your business and I can start directing traffic starting I can start getting you know followers increasing followers engagement likes and stuff like that and start getting leads potential customers um, to go towards your business um, and I'm going to offer this to you completely free of charge for one week. So um, if you're interested at all, be sure to give me. Okay, so that was the last call. Honestly, I felt like that was my best message I, I left. That was really, you know, calm and collected. Usually you'll find that too. That means I kind of shook it off a little bit. The, uh, the whole, the dust I had from not, uh, from not doing any cold calls in a while. Now I'm, I'm kind of, you know, it's going to take a while. I'd say probably like another 100, I mean 90. So, you know, you do 100 calls you'll get back into the, the swing of it and you'll start being able to shake it off like no problem after that. So I'm still getting used to it, but I feel a little bit more comfortable and confident now than than, uh, than before. So it's definitely worth doing this. If anything else, like I might not, have, I might not get one person from this, but the main thing is you get the practice in. So you, you get the practice and you deal with the fear of rejection so that when someone says no to you, it doesn't even bother you anymore. It doesn't phase you. You don't feel nervous. You know, your call, some of those calls I did today, you know, I, I was stuttering a little bit. I was kind of nervous, shaky a little bit. So I would I would slip up on my own words and I would say something dumb. And, uh, you know, that's it's just part of the thing. You don't want to beat yourself up over it, right? It's all, take it easy, relax. You know, that's just part of the process. When you understand that that's part of the sales process, you don't beat yourself up. You're not going to be an expert. You know, you're not going to be Car Grant Cardone or, you know, some of these uh, experts out there the first time, you know. So, you just don't beat yourself up and uh, 
and just just do it man just get into sales guys it's a good it's a good experience and i'd recommend for pretty much everyone that it's it's a it's a it's a mandatory skill that everyone should learn they should teach this shit in school to be honest okay so now uh, the next step is going to be creating a uh, poster for my personal training business. I wanted to maybe make it like red or something like that to make it catchy.